going on there folks good evening good afternoon depending on where you're at it's the earth master here on this afternoon uh, monday afternoon july 17th 2023 it's about 4 30 here california time and taking a look at a very massive uh, explosion here on the southwestern limb of the sun uh stand by here for a second while i get this stirred up uh off of a major sunspot here that's that one giant sunspot that had um traveled obviously across the southern hemisphere of the sun it was massive uh, but it was fairly stable as it was earth directed now this thing is just taking off like crazy and blasting off all sorts of plasma plasma and uh, what looks to be a very strong m flare is still occurring from this sunspot region now the uv filter ray uh it's going to be this one right here the latest imagery let me show you guys uh really can't you can see some of the flaring going on but far as that plasma and the ejection there that that produced, uh, you can see it a lot better in this composite here on the 304. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful, stunning image. Um, and that was a uh, an awesome eruption there. Unfortunately, this was not earth directed. This is out on the southwestern limb of the sun. But uh, figured I would jump on and show you guys this. It's spectacular. And uh, like I say, I don't think we peaked out yet in the flare category. Still currently flaring. That was a long duration M flare event. And it still looks like it is uh, climbing up there, so to speak, in terms of uh, intensity. So we'll watch that. There's currently a, uh, a blackout here at the lower frequency and the higher frequency communication systems here in the red. Centered uh, right over, it looks like the... Uh, Central Pacific out here over Hawaii, just west of Hawaii, could see navigation systems uh, affected there on the high frequency and low frequency uh, uh, HF radio communications. Uh, again, this was not earth directed, but it is a beautiful image of that, uh, man, goodness, that massive uh, eruption there. Let me see if I can find the uh, movie data here of this of this eruption see which one's going to be best there's all sorts of images that you can look at um i don't know this has just happened so not for sure if we're going to be able to see that uh eruption or not but we'll see um let's see this is just the image of it i'm gonna go back here and double check go to uh i don't even know if it'd be in the 48 hour video Possibly could. Here it is uh, a couple days, well, a day or so ago. See if this massive eruption, there was a little flare. This thing's just been jumping ever since it uh, kind of got out of harm's way, so to speak. There, uh, there, oh, that may have been it. Hard to say. This may just be a little off of, uh, off by just a minute or so. If I can zoom this up here. This was at, I'm um, not for sure what time it was. It says the last 48 hours. Hard to say. Uh, either way, I think we'll be able to catch it uh, a little bit later tonight in that 48 hour video. Right now, just getting a, a little glimpse of it here as it shot out a huge plasma cloud here. Um, not Earth directed. I don't think this is going to be um, affected here on Earth at all. Uh, we did see a little bit of the solar, let's go back to the solar ham here and see. Uh, we did have a little bit of elevated KP index here an hour or so ago, up almost to the five category, almost to a G1 class storm. That is from a, uh, a glancing blow, CME, uh, and also the help of the BTBZ component, which was uh, pointing south. Now that kind of kicked up yesterday and also today here. Uh, the uh, polar regions did see a little bit of enhancement. Of course, up here in the northern hemisphere was probably not visible due to it being uh, obviously daylight here. But down south into the Antarctica area, I'm sure it was uh, very visible. Uh, either way, um, stay tuned. We'll definitely uh, keep an eye on a couple of these sunspots. Look at that. That thing looks like it's going to explode again. Look at that image. That is a massive, huge eruption and it's still flaring now I remember a couple days ago here um as that thing was roughly center disc 
you know, we, we kind of watched it. it. had a giant sunspot region similar to that. It was fairly stable. And it was stable all the way up until it got over here on the southwestern quadrant. Now it's fairly complex and it's it's <laughs> it's looking absolutely stunning here for uh, for this imagery. Another flaring uh, item right here. Another sunspot. Uh, I do think we need to keep an eye on is this the most recent imagery. Oh, looks like it is close to it. Uh, this regional sunspot is currently getting very dynamic with the complex structure here and the cores. Also, this area within this region here is currently flaring. That's what we've seen on the UV filter ray right here, a little loop. Uh, but that does have quite a bit of complex cores in there that's trying to grow. Uh, we'll definitely keep an eye on this one as it is center disk and uh, almost directly lined up with the Earth. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on this. Either way, for the uh, latest space weather information here for all these images and whatnot, solarham.net has a cool functional site. And um, I wonder when it's going to stop. <laughs> it just keeps going up and up. Looks like we might be curving out a little bit here, but that is just a dynamic image uh, there on the sun. Look at that. Phew. All right, uh, we'll be back a little bit later tonight, folks, unless something drastic happens here. Um, just stay uh, stay tuned. And for the latest info, again, spaceweather.com, solarham.net. The official site uh, is going to be sdo.gsfc, NASA. Uh, so the SDO, uh, SDO site is where everyone gets most of their information from the uh, legit data. Go check it out. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight. Stay safe out there.